Thanks for tuning in to another video here on the Brick Abbey. We're kicking off a brand new series. The Lego Star Wars Boba Fett's Starship is actually what they're calling it. <laughs> it doesn't say Slave 1. Uh, this Boba Fett Starship. They might be sort of avoiding the original name for, you know, reasons. So we are going to be building Boba Fett's Starship, otherwise known as Slave 1. This one is from... The Mandalorian as it comes with Mando and Boba Fett minifigs. So, yay. Now, I'm excited about this series because I'm pretty sure we're going to be premiering this series and kind of bringing people over just to jumpstart the channel. But ordinarily, we will not be doing that. We hope you guys enjoy the other sets that are on here. One of them, I don't know which video, one of them we explain the name of the channel and where it came from so we always like to start with an unboxing and uh these ones are always really fun and easy to open and then we also do an organization uh video so if, you, if this is your first video here on the brick abbey just kind of orienting you to what's going on so there's our stickers nice usually set those in a corner we typically do the same thing with the instructions. There we go. Perfect. So we usually put that down in this corner. I'm actually recording this before I leave <laughs> for, for vacation. And we have, well, that's bag number two. And we got bag number three. And bag number four, and then bag number one. I don't think we could have opened that in a more random, uh, <laughs> in a more random order if we tried. We just kind of pulled them out as I could, and I always keep the boxes in really good condition. And then that's where I keep the uh, the instructions after the fact. Now, this is going to be kind of fun because this is going to sort of complete the kickstart. To the channel with basic sets these are sort of the more basic ship sets all three uh the tie fighter the x-wing and boba fett's, boba fett's starship as uh they've all come in similar size boxes and i think next we might do either smaller sets or we got bags within bags here oh my we got really small parts there and then another bag within a bag, another bag within a bag. Ooh, I see Boba Fett's jetpack in there. So we, this is your first video, we just sort of dump the bags on the table. And then these get organized later. I have a video where I kind of organize them. And we are asking for feedback on that, what people think. These are, I don't even think these are Legos. These are some kind of, they're like, I'm not sure. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do those. I think we're just going to keep those in the bag because I feel like they're going to have a very specific role. We're going to keep those in the bag and uh, we are not going to need, oh, look, we're going to get to see, we're going to, we're going to cheat. We're going to cheat. We're going to check out Boba Fett's helmet uh usually we don't we don't do this but i'm going to there it is there's his helmet okay there's pieces and parts of the helmet i'm sure oh there's the jet pack we're gonna we're gonna cheat one more time there we go i've gotten pretty good at the autofocus the first couple times i did this it was a uh it was <laughs> It was hard. I was having a hard time with it. I'm looking forward to this one. Because this one seems like a cool build. It's got a very cool shape. Obviously, if you're a Star Wars fan, you know you're very familiar with the ship. If you're not a Star Wars fan, you're still cool in my book. But you should probably check out the movies. This is a ship that showed up in... Uh, Empire and Jedi. And they were pursuing them. 
and uh, pretty famous. And it's cool that they had it show back up in Mando. There we go. Oh, I love the color. Hang on, I'm gonna have to pick up one of these pieces and kind of show you. I love this color that they're using. That is great. That is a good. That is a good color. Such a great color to drop on the ground. There we go. It goes so well with that green. All right. This one seems like it's going to be... Le I think this is more pieces than... I believe it's more pieces than the TIE Fighter. Look at how... I mean, there's a ton of little pieces. Yeah, the TIE Fighter was 432 pieces. This is 593. So we're dealing with a uh, slightly larger set here than TIE Fighter. I can't remember the count on the X-Wing. I know the X-Wing was more than the TIE Fighter. Got a couple more pieces to come out. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh. I kind of spread the pieces out a little bit. This is not the organization video, though. And the reason I do that is when it's time to do the organization video, I want to be able to like see all the different colors. And they, uh, I think they, I really think they nailed this green. Obviously, you have a couple different versions of the green. There's going to be smooth pieces. And then there's going to be the nubs. But I think they did a great job with that green. The Boba Fett green. Let's get that one dumped out. There we go. Man, there's a lot of little pieces in this set. So I, I can already kind of tell this one's not going to be... Oop, we got a... There we go. One final stud. This one is not going to be a fast one. Like, the TIE Fighter was really, really quick. And that's okay. We're not in any hurry or anything. Just this series will be, I think, a little bit longer. I, I bet you this one ends up being my gut instinct. I don't know what that is. My gut instinct is that this will end up being a little bit longer than the X-Wing set. Now, when we get into bigger sets, we are not going to have the luxury of doing... Oh, there's Mando's helmet. Let's cheat again. You guys, you guys want to cheat again? Let's cheat again. There he is. This is the way. I'm just kidding around. Um... But when we get to the bigger sets, we'll probably do the sort of, oh, it's a cape. It's super hard to get out. There, yeah, see, they do the, ca these capes are cool. So I don't know if you've ever seen these. So they put two holes. Come on, I got so good at the autofocus and now I'm not doing a good job. I'm not, I don't understand why it's having a hard time. There we go. It's got two holes, so you like... You put it over their little neck thing twice. Oh, look at the dark green. Let's see if autofocus could stop being a jerk. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice dark green. Let's get that box off there. So my, my son, I don't remember which character he had... He got one that has a cape like that. It might have been... There was like a Thor minifig set at uh, at the Lego store that he got. It came with like five characters. And I think one of them had one of those... One of those capes that's styled like that. You didn't see that, right? You didn't see that. One piece went rolling. I'll find it. That's not the first time that's happened. You'll have to watch the other videos for the time that happened. I usually go slow, and I, for whatever reason, I just decided to just dump that one. So, <laughs> I'm really excited to do this with you guys. I'm excited that this one's probably premiering with the audience coming over from the gaming channel. We're not always going to do that, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell button pressed, and make sure you watch those other series, so that way you can figure out why we call this channel The Brick Abbey. And uh, really excited to continue to build sets. And thank you, everybody, who has sent sets. This one was not sent 
by anyone. I got a $40 gift card for my birthday, so I snagged this one. I thought it would make a great sort of three-part ship series with the two we already have. We'll, uh, we'll make sure and provide links below to the wish list if you want to send any of the sets on there to complete maybe like the Star Wars bust set or anything like that, or make suggestions in the comments for sets for us to build. Hit the like button, hit all those buttons. We appreciate you guys just being here and watching. This is kind of a hobby fun channel, and I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see you in the next video here on the Brick Abbey.